Okay, good evening everyone. So we've come out to an absolutely beautiful spot tonight. Um, the weather's gorgeous. The only reason I've got my hood up is because I'm being attacked by midges again. We do like these outdoor lives. So I'll hang on just for a while, just uh, while a few of you join on. I have started a minute early, so I'm sorry. And uh, I'll show you where we are. Tonight we're not going to hide where we are. I have named it Nine Stone Ladies, um, and that is exactly where we are tonight. Um, an absolutely fantastic place. So, right, I'll just turn the camera around. I actually stood by this stone, which we think, not 100% sure, which is fair enough, but we think may be known as the King's Stone. Um, now, the King's Stone was reputedly the fiddler that um, played the devil's tune for the nine witches. Hi Kerry, thanks for joining. Um, for the uh, the nine witches to dance to. As you can see, I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. And I'm going to turn it round. I'm going to tease now because... <clears throat> right, excuse me, throat's a bit dry. I'll walk you down. As you can see, the team are down there. So I'm walking down from the fiddler. And we'll come down. They're all being very patient and very good. So there's the nine stone ladies circle. Now these stones, um, if you Google it, will represent, each stone is supposed to represent uh, one of the witches. Hi Graham, thanks for joining. Uh, it's supposed to represent one of the uh, one of the nine witches that danced on the Sabbath day and they were turned to stone for their sins. So we've got now we've got a treat for you tonight because we have our new team members with us. So we have Ali. Have a wave Ali. And she's already been picking up on things, so this is going to be excellent. We have Brian. Hi, guys. Right, so we've got Sarah over there. Hi. And Rob. Good evening. So nice. What? I thought the phone was in my pocket, because that's just full on starting vibrating my phone. Now, yeah, we've been having a few odd things happen. Um, you stand in the middle of the circle. It feels like the ground is trembling um, whether that's all the energy I don't know possibly um, we've all been drawn to different stones this one's mine hi Sarah thanks for joining I don't know why I, I always wave <laughs> when I'm saying hi to everybody I always wave so this is my stone I don't know why I'm drawn to it but there's twice I've been up here and not changed so William, we had William. We've had a few names come through. Okay, so we've had a. <clears throat> Hi, Robert. Tell Brian he says A up. <laughs> I die. <laughs> Have you done any more? Yeah, I've done a, okay. a little bit. I think it's, it, it's quite a fascinating area. Um, I was listening to uh, the stuff that uh, Alison was coming out with earlier. It's really, really fascinating place. Um, I have to said about the fiddler and the the, the ladies. Yes, yes. So. Uh, well, that's it. Um, yes, there has been a, a ghost that's been seen. Uh, basically, hang on one second. An unidentified man dressed in black is said to have been seen standing outside the circle on full moon. Oh, have we got a full moon tonight? Hi. No, it's a waning moon tonight. Oh right, okay. Okay. Um, but yeah. Is there any significance to that? Um, no, we're about halfway through and the new moon will be Thursday. Okay. So we're, we're a week away really. So half, exactly halfway through. Exactly halfway through, okay. Hmm. We Whether that has any bearing on? Who knows? <laughs> Sorry, we have had a little bit of activity. Um, I'm putting it down at the, the moment to be a, a, a low battery, but to put the REM pod on as soon as we got here. And it started to flash. I have changed the battery. I'm, I'm putting it down as a low battery, but see what happens. Absolutely. 
Have we had anything through our necrophonics here? Um, it said June. Which, of course, name. we're in the month of June. The month of June, because of course the solstice in June. The, the, other, the other thing with June is Tell it's quite significant with the moon. Area. Um, today I've bought with me one of my crystal <gasps> wands. Now what's um, that made of? So this one's labradorite. Okay. And we actually are on a ley line here. Are we? We're on a ley oh, line. Oh wow! And this particular stone is encouraging the opening of the veil so between wow. between realms and obviously this site dates back pre-neolithic so we're talking bc and the whole the whole site you can feel levels so if you were to put them all as different colored sands you would have that many different colored grains of sand that it would just be gray oh wow so when I came through the gate, there's a gate at the bottom uh, on, a, on a path, so you can walk here quite safely. But straight away, the whole area from the bottom gate has got a vibration. You feel like the energy is like this, and that is to do with the ley line. Now, I didn't know we were on ley line. So I bought ah. my crystal Wonderful. in order not just to ask questions, but to really open up everybody's and here's me, got my protection ones with me. Yeah. Um, but we are in a safe environment. Absolutely. I did also ask for angels to join us this evening, and I do travel with my own spirit guides, who I've picked up along the way. Um, and my intention is that everybody here this evening will leave with some kind of protection guide that will look after us as a paranormal team. And with the, with the aid of the crystal... <laughs> I'm wanting to draw in all positive energy and it should be amplified by the fact that we've got ley lines. Now you can see, guys, this is going to be an interesting one, definitely. I mean, we, as I said before, we're in absolutely humbled and in awe, really, of having these two guys with us. Um, Diane, thank you ever so much. I'm glad you love watching us. Um, and you're going to enjoy it even more now because Brian's a little nuts. Bless him. <laughs> He's the joker of the pack. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he has been described as the energizer bunny. I'm just going to walk round and see where the stone yeah, wants to take me, where my crystal <laughs> wants to take me. Come on. Okay. So I'm just going to follow Ali and uh, and let her do her thing. Ooh, did you see that? It moved. It went straight out yep. and back in towards the center. Um, is it that you would like me to go more towards the center and you start moving where you would like me to go? You see, it's, it's heading that yeah. way. Together. Whoa, did you see that? I can yeah. feel it going like yeah. that. Right. It says together. Do you yes. It still for me? Okay, so yeah. I'm going to stand here so you can see this. Um, if I just also explain, I do quite a bit of crystal work, <coughs> and my crystal already understands how I want it to speak to me. So it goes left to right for yes and no type answers, okay. and in a circle for it doesn't know. Okay. Okay. Um, but because I was asking it to take me to where it feels the energy is, it was pulling this way. And I might get somebody else to hold it in a little while to see if it also pulls in the Absolutely, same direction. Absolutely, yeah. It's really weird. I can feel it. You can see it. it, it it's, 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 it's pulling. The it, bottom yeah. is pulling that way. So I'm just going to try and walk round the circle and see if You can see it's not straight. Let's put it that way. And I'm happy to move my hand how any <laughs> viewers want to see my hand. Yeah, we are. We're, we're, not, we're not far away from where that bug was last that? week. Can you see that? I can. It's pulling towards me. Now, that, Sarah, can you see Diane that? Diane says, be careful of the bugs. Can you see that, look? No. If you can see that, that is not... It's not moving side and side. It's actually pulling towards the centre. It's gravitating. You can see that's not straight. So at I'm going to carry on walking. Okay. I'm not asking any questions apart from where it thinks the energy source is in order for us to bring forward anybody <coughs> that would like to speak to us. And I'm going to apologise if the camera does move quite a bit because I've got midges crawling all over my hands. <laughs> and I'm being very steady because the ground is a little yep. bit uneven due to erosion. Because lots of people come here 
in celebration and to have events of all different descriptions, pagans, druids, wiccans and, and families because it is a very pretty area. Okay, so we're... Now that is... We have a little bit of activity here but it's kind of, it's unsure. Yeah, as you can see that's circling. And when you can see her hand is absolutely dead still. Okay, can we move on? Yep. Can we move on? Sorry Joe, I was asking my friend. Oh sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I am nuts by the way, but it does help. Oh yes. So I'm asking you... These guys are used to us. <laughs> ...to the source of where the most energy is within this circle. Who's here? Who's here? Tell me his name. What's his name? See, the beauty of this is we now have, uh, you know, a lot of different methods that we can use. Hi, Lee. Um, yes, we have actually got room for two more at Gresley. Uh, so if, if you message me, well, message the, uh, the page, I'll, I'll uh, sort that out for you tomorrow. So interestingly... That'll be it then. Gresley's sold out then sorry. now. Sorry. At, at exactly the opposite place, it was pulling towards the centre of the circle. So you naturally think the energy is in the centre. But now I'm here, it's pulling out of the circle. You see, now there's rocks over there, but I don't know what it, if they bear any relevance to. Dim. Now it's dim. Dim, dim, dim nice but dim. This is hoping Boris doesn't change the uh, the restrictions, the COVID restrictions, and that's so. We're very, very still on this stone. This stone's very still. Absolutely dead. It's got a wiggle on. And that's almost like the vibration that's happening around us. If you can see that's wiggling very slightly. I'm just going to close my hand in case there's any vibration from my hand. No, there's definitely a vibration on this stone. That's interesting. Absolutely. I think that was the one Rob was drawn to, wasn't it? Yeah. And so I'm asking now, as we reach the quarter for Homestone, if there's anybody here that would like to speak to us. We have lots of methods of communication around the stones. Hey, you all right? Oh, yeah. Necessary. So if there's anybody that would like this evening to communicate to us, you can pass on any types of messages. You can show us the celebrations. You can show us why you might enjoy coming back to this location. Hi Al, thanks for joining. <coughs> there's a lot, lots of equipment that you can also affect as well. Lots of boxes on the floor. If you could make one of those light up or flash. Hi Jane, thanks for joining. So because this area may be your comfortable area or your favourite area, you may also have your own favourite stone and I'm asking for you to come down, come to join us, come close to us. If you head towards any of the stones or the centre of the circle, there are maybe unfamiliar items there. Jump. <laughs> and they may make you jump. But they don't mean you any harm. No. If you see any of the items that you like the look of, it might light up. So a little bit like a candle or a fire flame. Walk towards it and you may be able to make it light from a green light right through to a red orange light. And if you can do that for us on any of these pieces of equipment, we would really celebrate that with you. Absolutely. Darren. Darren's too modern a name. Yeah. Darren. Yeah. Too modern a name. I'm going to head back towards the line between hey, these two stones. Yes, maybe. Karen and Amanda, no. When we arrived onto the location, there is a beautiful big oak tree. And when I'm I just... put my hand on the oak tree, there was a young girl here. Yeah. That's the oak tree. She gave me the picture that she was in Vic uh, Edwardian dress and that she was here for some kind of 
event, maybe an opening or a celebration of an excavation, something to do with her father's activities here, like a cutting of ribbon. <coughs> if that young lady would like to join us, if you'd like to come forward, we know that you're a free spirit and you've been given full roam of this area. Is there a young lady present with us? Right, excuse me, Midge's just decided to eat my head. In case we do have any activity as I'm passing by, I'm going to also pop my K2 on. You can see this is a well-worn K2, it doesn't even have a green light, no. but it does have a brand new battery. <laughs> And if spirits come towards me, then this should it's light up. Buy a new one, that's why. <laughs> it's, it's my favourite. <laughs> it's got my thumb groove. Too tight to buy a new one. So now I have two pieces of equipment. I have a more modern piece of equipment that you may have seen on programmes that sparked your interest in, in ghost hunting or the paranormal. Um, I can assure you we've got no electricity cables no through there's the definitely no electricity and I'm not cables some kind of wire and i've not got my phone on me no and i i do have another phone but mine's on flight mode so on you can see mode. there so you go i'm going to leave this kind of pointed down just in case any of my team can see that go off while i'm looking at my crystal so, i think here would be good to have a session with his eyes again as well. it is it is drawn in yeah. so i'm yeah. going to follow it I'm going to follow it. Ooh, lights here. Is there some... Oh, I'm quite cold here. <laughs> Is there somebody in this location where I'm standing? Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Is there... Anything you can show me so I can see you. I can feel you. You've made everything around me go still, apart from my pendulum. If you can walk closer, I have something in my hand. You're very welcome to touch my hand first and then touch the piece of equipment mm, i'm sure of that one yeah it's now circling as you can see the spirit's a little bit unsure that's okay you mean you no harm come forward so my name's alison spirit and i've i've come this evening i've never been here before and i i do find it a very nice place that's the point, actually. We'll introduce ourselves so everybody knows. I'm Joe. Uh, I'm Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I'm Brian. I'm, I'm Sarah. I'm Bert. <laughs> there you go. It thinks you're <laughs> hilarious. Look, look at it pulling. Look at it pulling. It's like I've got a string. Is he really even making the spirit have a laugh? <laughs> oh, now it's not happy. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I think actually this spirit's done this before because look how still it brought Absolutely. that acknowledged its yeah. comment to us. So, can I ask, because we invited the young girl, and, and when I say young, uh, she's between 11 and We've got other people 14. joining us now as well. Is it the young lady that's with us? Yes, you've seen these because you're Edwardian. Yes. You like these, don't you? And it reminds you of jewellery. Ah, okay, you can see them. They're not morning beads, I promise. They're obsidian beads. Do you want to touch them? Buried. Who's buried? Now I'm just learning crystals and that's one I have heard of is obsidian here. Yeah. Who's buried? You like them? Yes. Tell me who's Can buried? I hold them back? Because I I I find I can help you if I'm holding obsidian for energy. Thank you. Oh, I'm itching. <laughs> Can I ask you 
do you stay here? I, I'd just like you to try to stop it one second because you were already answering me and I think you were putting in thoughts into my head. Wait, wait. Do you stay here all the time? All the time. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Is it possible? I, I know you're maybe a little bit fearful, and there is a lot of us. And I know that normally you may be quiet when there are adults about, but it's it's totally okay. You can talk to us. I really would like to see if, if you could actually make this work for me too. So I'm going to turn it off. Light up. And when I turn it on, you'll see that all the lights come on. She's looking because she stopped her activity here. Can you see that? Yes, that's quite nice, isn't it? And look, all these different colours here, they can all be lights. Okay. It's just... Okay, so we're going to put she that... Shown, she kind of showed me <coughs> bending down. I'll step back. And me. Hi Claire, thanks for joining. Okay. Can I just confirm that you're still here time. with us? Just to come up with Can words that are say yeah. totally fucking random and nothing Thank to you. do with. Okay, now I can feel that you've moved okay, and you're here now rather than in front of us because I, I'm a little bit warmer on this side. So I know you're between me and the meter, the little K2. Oh, how about I let you jump on it? Does that sound like a deal? Can so you jump on well, that for me? That yeah. Yeah. yeah, I see your shoes. She's okay. wearing boots. This is this is was the image she gave me earlier. She'd got boots on that were a little bit past the ankle. Um, they weren't halfway up her leg. They were past her ankle, which to me indicated she was Same. almost a teenager or into just her teens. Lovely to see you too, Claire. Thanks for it's it's nice to see so many people. Um, you know, regulars coming back. It's great. Thanks ever so much. Because they didn't have a lot of money, you didn't have many pairs of shoes. They kind of. I'm trying not to interrupt. E even in the summer, she wore these boots. <laughs> She's a little bit cautious. I think she really wants to jump on that, but she doesn't want to damage her boots because that would make her into real trouble. You won't damage your boots, sweet. You won't. Can I ask you? Rather than tell me yes or no about you wanting to jump on there, because at the minute you're undecided, my crystal, when you come towards it because you're undecided, potentially should make a circle like what we're in here. Exactly. Is it possible, rather than showing me yes and no that you're undecided, can you show me undecided by making my crystal move in a little circle? Can you just have a nice Sally come through on parity? If anybody wants to share this out, by the way, please feel free. Um, we'd be very appreciative of it. Now, Hi, Helen. Thanks for joining. This is a very tiny movement. And I know that when people aren't here, you run around these stones and you run through this forest and you scream and you skip and you dance. And I want wow. to see you really putting that energy into my And do you know what? If I was a little girl, free. I would do exactly the same. <laughs> can, you, can you make this as big as you can? As big as you can. Okay. And just to prove that that's not me, can you make that stop? Okay. That's, gr that's great. Thanks, Graham. Thanks, Claire. Really appreciate it. Thanks ever so much. She's telling me yes that she can make it stop. Yeah. Okay, now what I'd like to ask is anybody in our team would like to take the crystal. I don't mind asking a few questions. Well, you've, you've got, got the whole steady hand. very still. And then if you feel that you want to take over asking okay. some questions, this young lady is here. If anybody okay. wants to come and put their hand here, it's okay. <coughs> It's okay, yeah, come on. Whichever hand you're most comfortable with. Oh, I've with. just been eaten again. Okay. 
He's got quite so a steady hand, actually. It, so you've got to actually put... If you wanted to be a cheat, you'd have to put a lot of effort yeah. into your hand to move that. I don't know what it weighs, but it is it is heavy. Put so your you put your hand comfortable, want Rob. Want to introduce yourself to this young lady? I'm afraid she's not given me any pictures for her name yet. Hello, my name is Rob. So oh, Robert. 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 Yep, she's doing it. Okay. Could we have a little bit more movement? Remember, you you can be unrestrained here. And I think it is your freedom place. Yeah, I, can, I, I can actually and feel please it. Please don't be scared of you him. You can feel it pulling. I can, you, yeah, you? I can feel it pulling. It's like the movement's from the pendulum up. From if the was, tip? Yeah. If it was if it was my hand, it would be obviously the, the chain would be moving before the pendulum. But the pendulum's moving before the chain. If I've explained that right. Working. So, young lady, is it possible, if I give you some ages, could you make the pendulum move when I get to your age? <laughs> it's funny, she put in my head birthday cake. So, I think that she could have a birthday soon. Ca can we have the age before your birthday, just to be clear, not the age that you're excited about? Ah, okay. I wonder if June is her birthday then. So, if I, 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 I know you're not younger than 10, so can I start, are you 11 please? If anybody sees, feels anything, please shout up. I mean, we, you know, we're carrying on with our investigation, but obviously, you know me, I'll read everything out, so just... Uh, you can see that trembling. Thank you. Yeah. Now, I wonder who that could be. The other thing is just um, so people that are watching know, I try to give a few, uh, not quite a minute, but a little bit of time for a spirit to actually gain enough power <coughs> from our energy Absolutely. before yeah. it gives an answer and we move on. So, are you 12, please? In a slight circle. Are you 13? Are you 14? Can I confirm? So, are you 15? Wow. It's vibrating, isn't it, yeah. rather than moving? You can see it, yeah. It, it, oh, bear with me one second, I've been eating a lot. I know, of it. I've got... Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to ignore I've it. I've got them <laughs> crawling all over the screen and everything here. <laughs> all right. Okay, so... She thinks that's funny, <laughs> that we've been eating alive. Can I ask a question? Absolutely. Is your name Hayley? Hayley's just come up. I have an Edna and a Sally. Come on. I think I'm a bit drawn to Sally. I have an Edna and a Sally. Um, well, it's not Hayley. No. So we, we didn't get a proper answer yet for your age. You seemed a little bit as if the crystal was reading 14, but then was vibrating at 15. So Claire's, Claire's getting her name Mary. Okay. Okay. So, can you confirm if you are 15? We'll I'm try going that to in a second. Open, open my channels a little bit wider and let you take more of my energy. If you're 15, can you really make that crystal move side to side? And if you're not 15, can you make it move in a circle? Okay, and now I've got an interesting one here from Peter. He says, what is the significance of a pig's head headdress? 
there's a male figure standing watching over us and he's wearing his this headdress and some sort of tribal attire that's pagan isn't it yeah he gets hang on let's see i get the feeling that he sometimes rides a horse now we've heard horses oh, yeah. several times we've heard horses several times so don't know we'll delve into that one a little bit later we'll see if we can we'll see if we can try to hello <laughs> um um i mean a pair of yeah pigs headdresses and things like that would, yeah, would be wore sheep's headdresses and animal yeah. skin clothing it was all pagan things, wasn't it yeah, so yeah, yeah. But we've we've definitely heard horses. There's no, that... a festival that's in oh, this I wear, so, not far from you. Because this young lady is still with us, I can and walk her away if we want to look at some other oh, things. Oh, the uh, yeah, if you don't mind, because I'm, I'm being eaten. Yeah, you know what I'm on about, don't you? Thank you. Yeah. The folk dancers. Yeah, yeah. But that that's all for a um. Okay. Be interesting to know what he who he is and what he wants. We're going to have a look around. We'll, we'll ask in a moment, and see Peter. See if we can bring other spirits mm. in. We'd love you to stay with us. Can you confirm that you'd like to stay with us? I know it was maybe a little bit different with Bob. Man. It is a very pagan area, isn't it? This. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? Yeah. Back in the day, so if, then. If you they can bring used it, any it? other yeah. spirits into pagan. the circle with us. Or if there are any watching us Jeez. that want to join us, <coughs> you're more than welcome to bring them into the circle. Or if they can be audible, yeah. if we can hear them, ask them to make noises. I'm not sure if they can make noises. Can they make odours? <laughs> <laughs> Brian can the make odours as well. Odors all the time. And he can make noises too. Yeah, you know <laughs> Lots of them. Okay. And if at any time you do want to go over and have a look at some of these pieces of equipment while nobody's looking, absolutely Push fine. Push one of us. Okay, so I'm I'm going to say goodbye for now. But it doesn't mean that you can't come back to us. It would be lovely if you went and fetched some of your friends. That K2 has just gone off. I just caught it out of the corner of my eye. Now that one over there went off. That K2 there just went. I caught that out of the corner Ooh, of my eye just. That might be me because I'm going towards it. But that's only because I can't make an electric. <laughs> Static woman. Okay, if that was you, can you make one of the boxes like a video for me, please? I'll get a feeling there's someone sat in that tree there. Anybody getting anything over here? I'll just keep... Oh, man. My hands are being you bitten know, to death. Which gentleman was it that talked the about the pig's there. head? Peter, yeah. Could he maybe suggest where we should head towards? Peter, can you can you tell me um, if I if I pan round very slowly? Now I'm going to stand right in the middle of the circle. Okay. Can you tell me? Ooh, Kerry says there was a light shot when we said that. That would be interesting to see back. So if I pan round, can you give me any idea of where the gentleman was standing with his uh, in his pig's headdress? So that might tie in with uh, the dark sh shadow figure that's been seen on the outside. That's the shadow that's... Uh, yeah. yeah. Could be the same thing. Just walking around. Have been seen. You see, I was standing before. Bear with me. Leg. I was standing here, wasn't I? And it was facing that way. So was he? Was he over there? Did he? Did he say? Did the, sorry, I can't remember the, the gentleman. It's all right, Peter. Yeah. Peter, did he say he was behind us? He was standing, watching over us. So whether he's, he's in front of us or behind us. If you get if you get a feeling of where we need to go, then obviously we will we will go there. Justin. We'll send Rob. Give us a <laughs> give us a direction, yeah. I'll pan round very, very slowly. Show us a direction. 
full circle. Point is in the right now. Direction. That's that's the oak tree that's significant. So right, that's a, a young lad that's just there. You go. He's forgotten something. <laughs> which way to go. Do you want to try your dowsing rods, Rob? Crawling. Crawling. I'm Crawling. doing a full In this that's a full circle. There are some people up there so I'll just pan past those quickly. I'm sure they don't want to be on Facebook. Right, okay, so that's where I was. I'll give you a chance because obviously there's a bit of a delay. So if I pan left a little bit. Can you hear my voice? I can, yeah. You with us? Is he around there? Oh, was he just a bit? Stop. Okay, he's over there. Now, is he just behind the stones or is he in the, like, the bracken area? All these midges. They are itching and biting. I'm mean, interested to look back at that and see that light. That'd be good. I'm going to just walk. Now, behind the stones, high on the ground near the bracken. Okay, so he's he's on the he's on the ground. Do you want to bring the dowsing rods over here, Rob? And then we'll just. So I'm going directly up. Now this is this bit here is higher ground so what I'm going to do I'm going to get Rob to stand here if you stand on that ground yeah sir you with us now that'd be brilliant Kerry if it was an orb can you affect these rods you can either open them or, cl or cross them over mm -hmm. to you don't mind you're with us now. Hi back, Steve. <laughs> Affect these rods and the, just to show us that you're here. Yeah, anyway, it doesn't matter. Use my energy. Just to prove that you're here and that you're with us. I'm trying to get the light because it's a bit difficult to see them. Don't you mean, don't mean any harm or disrespect. Just want you to show that you're here by affecting these rods. Okay, we're just swapping hands. Come on, spirit. If you're if you're the spirit of the gentleman that's wearing a pig's headdress, can you can you just affect the rods? We'd love to communicate with you. We don't mean you any harm, no disrespect. All we wish is for you just to let us know that you're here. Stop me. I've got I've got a gnat in my ear hole. <laughs> 
The midges are biting. On the ground. Now Sarah's just heard, interesting, Sarah's just heard horses galloping. Call out, take your... Okay, we'll give him a couple of minutes. He may not want to. Call out. Ooh. More spirit. Was that by the big tree or was that by the, that, that little tree that's sort of there? Claire sees a child's face by the tree. All right. It's interesting. Yeah. He may not want to communicate with us. He may just want to. Just let us know. He's try. He says try a bit further back. Okay. Okay. That's that's yeah. We'll go to there. Quite a, quite a bit higher here now. That's going to make any difference. The other side. Okay. That'd be a lovely one to see that. Now that'd be. I wonder if that's that the little girl. The child's face. Calling any spirits. Don't mean any harm or disrespect. I'm just going to move so you can see the rods. You wish to communicate with yourself. A bit difficult because it's a bit dusk now, isn't yeah. it? Come on, spirit. Just show us you're here. Just cross the rods just to show us you're here. We won't ask for any more. We just want to acknowledge your presence. Wow. They're not crossing as such but the, I tell you what it's got a right sway on it that one has and there is absolutely well you can see from the trees there's absolutely no no breeze at all feels I'll be honest it feels like yeah, the, it's crossing them. it feels like the handles are connected to a small battery that's interesting that charged spirit if you just like, just let us acknowledge that you're here. We don't mean you any harm, so just cross the rods fully. So you've got to bring both rods to cross over. Look at the sway on that one. I know. Bring, but cross both rods. <laughs> Can you stop swaying that one, please? Yeah, Peter says he's here. He says he's. <laughs> Please, uh, spirit, just uh, just cross them over completely. That way, I can have an itch and I can get rid of whatever's biting me. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody can recon uh, recommend any good midge spray? <laughs> Please yeah. let us know. <laughs> okay, spirit, come on a little bit further. I know this takes a lot of energy, and we appreciate that. Just just want to acknowledge that you're here okay i think we'll take that as an acknowledgement yeah, yeah? Right, i'm gonna put them down okay <laughs> there you go peter i think um we've got an acknowledgement i'm not sure yeah. that he wants to communicate much with us so what i'll do is uh we'll pop back we'll come back over when when it, i think here this is where the gentleman is here ali this is where Peter's picking him up. So I think when, when it gets a little bit darker. But maybe it needs one, like a REM pod or something. Yeah. yeah. I'll go and bring it here. Um, the other thing he's just had the dowsing rods cross. He has, got, it he took a, a while. Right sway on it, backwards and forwards. That one. That wasn't quite so active, but that one was, and I wasn't. wasn't but I heard you say they felt like they were charged, like on a yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that is the ley line energy around us as well. Right. Um, so just, if people are a little bit curious about ley lines, believe it or not, the national grid, which is obviously all our power systems, use the ley lines as a natural energy course. So all of their pylon systems pull towards ley lines. Okay, I didn't know that. So, so they're a natural energy draw anyway. Which is maybe why the circles are here. Yeah. Why it was picked as this location. Maybe. Obviously, I'm not Neolithic, and I don't think I've ever been Neolithic. You never know. Who knows? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Um, Brian asked some questions about whether uh, the spirits 
were not inside the circle but more on the outside as well so um removing the REM pod out might give more results absolutely be visual for people that are watching too yeah sure i mean rob's rob's gonna go and uh he's very obedient isn't he <laughs> he's such a good lad so now light here as well. I don't claire know. has seen over here as well she's seen a face a child's face in the tree okay so was it male or female or just young so uh maybe not. sorry claire was it it was it was it just a little child's face can you elaborate claire was it um male or female i keep being drawn to that tree the big tree can we you show, love it don't you can we can we go in i'm just going to take this we're just going to go just young so just young so can't so. sometimes it's hard to decipher yeah we're just going to come over to um, so brian and um sarah brian and sarah are over, over there tree, because when sarah's over there she can hear horses um, and we think because Brilliant. this is a high location that people would ride to here yep. to do celebrations, um, especially if they've come from other villages or towns, because this was a big draw, not just for the immediate area, but for a big, like you would walk and That's pilgrimage all right, Claire, to worry. Stonehenge, you would walk and pilgrimage to here. Yeah. Um, so horses would be very likely. And Sarah thought she'd seen somebody who gave her the picture of like a Robin Hood. So somebody that was maybe okay. living in the trees, maybe had a village in the trees. Um, ah. On the way up here, Joe may have mentioned there's other buildings which may be to do with the mining, with copper, tin, even the quarry stone. We're not 100% we're, yeah. sure. We're actually there. not far from where we were last week um, at the mill. Um, and as Rob said last week, um, when you walk up, up towards here, um, this is the high point when we walk up to here there are there's there's various buildings um like dwellings so so predating that you would have had wooden hooks yeah and sure like teepees or tents yeah over time as, as people evolve because like i mentioned Oops. earlier there's so many layers here absolutely yeah. i think you, you can feel tree. yes we're gonna go in i'm just gonna put look at that Put my torch on to bring it into its beauty look at that beautiful so this this is where ali found uh well she felt the young girl at at, uh, at the first um i'll let you explain you just want felt like you were just looking up yeah, as a child so, so i i'm not a medium i'm, I'm not a clairvoyant i can't tell people's future I don't generally see people's relatives as much as I'd like to pass messages on but from being a very young child I get pictures and they usually because I'm quite simple they usually give them to me in a way that I can then solve a puzzle to, to find out a bit about them and then ask questions and I can normally get phrases or, or new pictures that tell a story and then if a spirit's got quite a lot of energy and really wants to give something you can usually get to the bottom of why they're here or mm. what they need so when i came here i used to read enid blyton books and this is a beautiful <laughs> you and me both the yeah. red and the secret seven <laughs> however i stood here and you're very drawn, it's a very tactile tree and, and we're being very mindful that we don't want to erode the site that we're on. It could be, Diane Diane says, could it be the poor girl, last, Hannah, that wanted Sarah's help last week? It could well be. We, we have already thought that, that she might be the daughter of one of the, you know... The miners the, or the... The miners or the, the, millers. The, the miller's manager or whatever. Uh, so quite possibly, Diane, yeah, quite possibly. When we came, it was bright sunshine and I stood at the side of the tree looking up uh, and it, it, it gave me this picture of Moonface from Enid Blyton's faraway tree and I'd got this young girl that had been here as a festival or event celebration to do with some unveiling, some work that's been carried out for, I thought, late 1700s, 1800s 
but then she shown me herself in an Edwardian dress. The more I stood here, it was almost like she clothed me as her. And she's the young girl that came up into the circle with us because this this is her place. This, if if you believe in heavens, whether she can see the modern day, I can't tell you. But if she could choose a heaven on earth, this is her choice. Now it's very interesting because Peter's just said he he sees a bunch of white tulips at the base. Oh. Now white tulips, well, white flowers of peace, yeah, aren't they? Yeah. But this, this this is her happy place. She didn't come forward to ask to move on. It's almost like That's she nice. was delighted to share it with us. And I'm now freezing cold. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Gosh, yes, you are. Yeah. Absolutely freezing. I, my nose... My, the front, the front of me, and my hands warm because it's been in my pocket. But the the front of my face, it almost feels like somebody's gently blowing on it. it. Yeah, 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 absolutely. So to to the young lady that was here now with I've us gone earlier, cold. and I think you do like this tree. And you, wow, you like you liked my stone, which is in my pocket at the moment. And we do know that this tree gets decorated throughout the year. People often make a wish and tie a ribbon or they put a ribbon for a loved one. It is a very well-loved tree. I think I've actually, I've put pictures on previously when, um, oh no, it might be on Instagram actually. Um, I have a picture um, when Rob and I came um, a couple of months ago and uh, there is actually things, they've taken them down now but that's weird. I, I'm now getting a name because it's it's funny. I normally get names quicker, and because I say I'm I'm a bit odd, I don't normally just get a name. I get a phrase. It's almost like if you channel hopping on a TV, and you get little bits. And and I'm getting Charlotte because I'm getting <laughs> I'm getting something to do with like Charlie and teasing because Charlie is a boy and Charlotte is a girl and I'm getting that she was one she's a family of one so there's no brothers and sisters so she sometimes was called Charlie okay I, I, I'm now thinking she might have been a twin but there was only one boy Oh, that's really sad. That is really that sad. That is really sad because she's so happy, and I think, I think it, that's. But like, maybe her twins that, always with her. That's like the love of yeah. two. Yeah, and that's the love of two the in love one. Of two, yeah. yeah. If so, Charlotte, Charlie, can can you? I can feel you, I know you're here, and I, I, I validate that I feel you, but I could really do with other people being able to feel a bit more of you. And I know that you can move, and I know that you have high energy, and I know that you're almost a young lady, and you, you filter between the young person that runs around and happy and, and shouting, and then you're trying to be a lady as well. But can I tune into your child? Can can you run across to that circle? Can you light me one of them lights? Is she different to the the girl that was in the circle with no, you? No, no. It, it, it is the same it's girl. The same girl. She's here all the time. Now the guys over there. I'm going to shine the light because you can't see them very well. But there they are. Um, they're, um, they've got the spirit box going on over there, so we'll pop back across in a moment and just, uh, and see what, what they're picking up, what they're getting over there. Charlie, can you, can you go over to where the guys are? Can you go over to them? It, it, they've got, they've got a device on the floor that you'll be able to hear your voice. If you talk into it, can you just say hello? Say hello to them. They won't hurt you.
What is that? Sounds a bit like a fog. We had just had a very, very, very weird noise. It's like a cross between a frog and a creaking tree. Or, or no. a pig. Yeah, or a pig. I don't know if there's any wild boar up here, but if there are, I'm running. Yeah, I didn't see any truffles. Um, so, she wants me to call her Charlie. So, Charlie, can, can you head towards the gentleman that's stood holding something that's flashing? And, and can you speak? Can you use my energy? Inviting the guy, she might not want to go at the same time. Yeah, she, I, she may or may not see the same. Oh, thank goodness, I can take my hood down then. Images have gone. I'm just going to wander. Yeah. We'll wander back over to these guys and see what, uh, let's see what they're picking up. Because obviously, with it being uh, a few of us now, which is great, <laughs> we can uh, we can almost do two things. At once, unfortunately, I can only be in one place at one. But, uh, so, what are you getting over here then? A voice, but it was that far back. You couldn't tell what it what it said. It was. It, it was I don't know. I would like to guess what it, what it said, but yeah. Um, the actual static, the, the tone of the static keeps changing. I don't know whether that might be to do with the radio frequencies, but... So you can see we've got the S-Box. I had the feeling that it wasn't happy with it, right. with the spirit box being in my hand, so I'll put it by the case. Okay. Picking up something. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, yeah. Come and talk to us. There's a room for two on yeah, the sure. There's a, there's a oh, cat ball there. I'm just going to sit myself down for a minute. Oh, that's better. Oh, I wonder if that's what we could hear. Oh. We just had a, a really weird noise over there. It was like a cross between a creaking tree and a frog. Or could have been a, like a ball. I don't know about you, but, yeah, oh, I'm starting to feel a little bit agitated. Come on, spirits, if you can hear my voice, come and interact with us. Got various bits and bobs lying on the floor, boxes of lights on them. You walk up to them, they're totally harmless. Just walk up, there's a light. There's a, a light on the floor that lights up when you walk past it. Can you set that off for me, please? It's just outside the circle. Just over there. I'll give a demonstration. Rob's just going to walk up to it and show you. I think he just likes playing with the toys, really. <laughs> he likes flashing lights. <laughs> Were you a DJ in a past life that you like flashing lights? <laughs> Boys and toys, eh? <laughs> oh, I just say a bit me. Do you want me to walk over there? Mm. Right, over there. right, I'm gonna. We're gonna go for a walk. Hold on. Because Sarah's picking up four guys over here in black cloaks.
so I'll move so far and then I'll stand still to allow you guys to have a look. Alright, I'm going to stand here. Well, she's picking up the Xiaomi light. Along, along this line, she's picking up gentlemen. I'm just going to knock my torch down to give you the proper light. Now I can hear Ali in the background and she says Sarah's, what she thinks is Sarah's picking up a druid. And she's getting a reaction every time. So they're over in that area somewhere. All right, bear with me. I'm going to go back to this. Sorry if I try not to make you feel sick. I'm going to come back and see uh, see what these guys have have picked up. You think they're cooking the bar? Actually, no, you, they're you can, can't you? Can you smell it? What is in burger sauce? It's, McDonald's? Could it be like a Can you not smell it? Tango. No, it's tangy. Is it pickles or something? Yeah, there's pickles in it, yeah. Can you smell it? I, not now, but I could. Yeah, I've just had burger sauce. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I could smell. It's yeah. gone now. And you were getting it as well. I did have it. I, don't, I can't smell it at the moment, but it was like <laughs> burger yeah. sauce. All of a sudden. Ooh, that's interesting. Claire says she sees a figure, a white face, black clothes, where I was up there. That's yeah. That's where Sarah, And we, we were talking about, we wonder if Sarah's encountered Men, druids. There's no women, and I've got a banging head now. Ah. And every time we say druids, that changes frequency or tries to say something. So two white horses, a black and a bay, mm. but the wild horses, that's the same direction they've walked in, they've walked flat and then they've come up a hill, sort of back. Well I mean this area it's dates back hundreds of years yeah, doesn't it, thousands of years doesn't it yeah. But I can't see the faces. I don't know whether it's... That's, it's that's great down. thanks Claire, um, it, it's always nice to... Now one to get a bit of up, clarification. So. I'm just going to focus this way for a little bit. Take it with you, just don't forget where you put it. <laughs> <laughs> Right, she's now seeing an old man walking in in grey, so Ali's gonna put that awkward light now. So, is this more serious? Is this about that round about the time then? This is more. This is more formal, I'm going to say. Yeah. He's in rags, sort of. Was this, was this then your time for the gathering? Okay, so your we've gathering. set the proximity light over there. That way! Gonna... Yeah! Yeah. I do feel like we're being yeah. watched now. So look at yeah. <laughs> hollering at each other. They're coming from up the top over there. Yeah.
Can she hear them? Oh, hang on a minute. And we put the cat ball down. And off we go. There's activity going on over here. So, oh, bear with me. You think I'd be fit now, boy? Now, wouldn't you? Oh, that's interesting, Peter. I'll tell. I'll tell these guys. Bear with me. You're almost like a hunting horn. Okay, Peter's getting a deep tone of a horn being blown. It, it might be the proximity to the tree, but over there under that tree, it was cold and we got the feeling of the girl. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Here it's warm. Where that man's it's like pockets, isn't it? Huh? Like the pockets of... Is there anybody here with us at the moment that would like to come towards me? This device in my hand, this little Stand box, right here. will light up if you come towards me. See, Peter's getting a, a horn, like yeah, a, a he's deep... Yeah, like a horn, like, I was describing to Eddie, like, you know the outlaws from Hogwarts? Yeah. Like, that time, he got long, dark hair, Big bushy beard. So we almost like a hunting horn, yeah. sort of. Okay. So we think yep. that you might be connected. Yep, Sarah's to agreeing you. with you there, Peter. Somebody who. But then every time I went to walk away, that's when I. And I get a pain in my shoulder, this one. Somebody who's connected with horses, or that may have lived. They, in the horses have come a forest. Diane's getting a child's voice. Whoa, okay. that's, that's us that set that up. There's a little boy as well over there. He keeps running between the trees. But he's big there you go. Men, men. There you go, Diane. I mean, that's I don't know whether boys. you can pick up whether it's um, little boy, a boy or girl, but Sarah's getting a little boy. Dark hair, little boy. That was us that set that light off, so. Come on, spirit, come forward. This is for charging from that way. If you walk away, it, you've got your back to it. Back, yeah. It? But you can feel it under your feet. I think you can hear a train now. Might be the S box. Yeah. Or could be. Yeah. Sounds like a. Tr -tr 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 -tr. Yeah. I need to clone myself so I can be over there and over here. <laughs> Too much to. Just... Is that a baby crying or is she? It sounded more animal. Um, Joe, we can look at um, where you can do multi screen and all share the same. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, we'll look at that. Yeah, we'll have a look at that and do a multi screen so. You can go from one group can... to another. And we can see. Add me. Right. Live on it, can't we? Yeah. Yeah. We're always looking at ways to. To make your experience better and ours. Now I'm going to go back into the circle. I'm being drawn. It's a bit, getting a bit dark now, so. That's me. Oh, 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 oh. Right, now, we've walked away and that has gone off now. Okay, Spirit, if you just set that light off, would you be very good and do that again for me, please. Just in case it was me as I walked away. Because every time we walk away is when you hear the horses. It wants to draw you back. Yeah. You? Yeah, Diane says definitely a little boy. That sounds like a baby for you. Yeah. Quite right, Peter. Absolutely quite right. He says um, he seems to be stuck way back in time because there seems to be many layers to the location. Yeah, and he's quite right. Ali, Ali's been saying that. Um, yeah. Totally, totally agree with you. Uh, what I'll do is... Where's the, um, where's the lectern thing over there? 
What I'll do, um, I'll take you on my way back. Bear with me. Let me take you. There's like a. Do, 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 do. Bear with me. No, I like to go off on my little travels. There's like a, an information board here. So what I'll do, um, I'll hold it over it and give you a chance to screenshot it if you want. Um, and that will tell you, I don't know whether that, whether you can see it well enough. If I do it, right, I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do it in bits. So give you a chance to screenshot and then you can see, see the history of it. Okay, and then we'll move along as you can see. Oh, that's weird. You didn't like that. I don't know whether that will allow you to zoom in enough. And there's a little bit of information. I was just saying about it being a scheduled monument. But, yeah, I mean, it says on here, going back, sort of, oh, it doesn't like me, doesn't like the reflection, does it? Um, it says about it going back 4,000 years, so there, there's bound to be, I mean, there's, there's got to be many, many, many layers. Absolutely. You got them. Um, oh, that's interesting. Brilliant. Thanks, Claire. Right. Is he wandering back into the circle? We'll probably give it about another. How long do you guys want? About another 10, 15 minutes? Yeah. Okay. About another 10, 15 minutes. Because uh, obviously we've got to try and make our way back. It's getting a bit dark now. Okay, so Claire, Claire got a, tr um, a man at that tree where we got the proximity light. Where I was seeing. And Peter, uh, he says the only thing that he, he, he's getting forward is a suicide at the oak tree. Okay. Now that could well be, I mean we, we don't know anything about any significance with the, uh, the, the, other thing the oak tree. Everybody gets different vibrations. So if if you were on an underground and you've just got off a tree plane, I might see a man in a black hat running to get on. Absolutely, yeah. And you might see a lady wiping the nose of a baby, and Brian might be looking at a lady walking by in a short skirt. Everybody sees something. That could be quite possible. <laughs> Exactly. I believe it. Everybody sees you know something. <laughs> don't worry, Diana. I'll, I'll go. I'll go back. I'll take pictures and I'll post them on for you. It, it's about what draws your attention. So, just if we don't see something, we're happy to go and see if we can see it. If Absolutely. It's in the right direction. Absolutely. Because also people inherently, without realising it, are drawn naturally to certain things. So. Mm. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, we enjoy investigating um, and it's it's your life as well as ours. You know, we, we just enjoy doing this side. And, yeah, but, the interaction is absolutely brilliant. Yeah, yeah, can't fault the interaction from you guys. We're absolutely yeah. uh, astounded by it. It's just brilliant. Um, and thank you, everybody, for keep coming back. <laughs> we love it. There'll be more. I'm just still waiting. Now, the exciting bit of news. Well, we've just stopped for a second. We have an exclusive i'm not not allowed to tell you where this place is um we've been sworn to secrecy on it but we have an exclusive one-off no other paranormal team will ever be allowed to this location and that will be coming up as soon as i can agree a date with them so i'll watch out for that one i'll let you i'll let you know when you uh, watch this space definitely I'll let you know when that one's coming up, um, but it's, yeah, one off. It's an exciting one because there was a murder there. Um, so, yeah, that's all I'm going to tell you. Anyway, back to our investigation. <laughs> you know how I like to do these things. Back, back to tonight, uh, Absolutely. Yeah. That could 
could be insane. That, that could be really interesting to have you. It is going to be a good one, that is, I think. Yeah. yeah. A really good night, that, uh, yeah. <laughs> we got big thumbs up. <laughs> Yay, thank you, Claire. There's a gentleman thank here. You. He, he wants to talk to us, but he's, he's just struggling a bit. Can you hold it and what? see if his energy will come we, through? And tried, tried does he not like that? I, I got the feeling that he, like he wasn't out. happy with it in the hand, so I put it down there. Okay. But we asked him for a year, and he's, he's just said 11. Well, I thought 11. we had 11. 11. Well, it might be 19, 11, 11 something. It, all I heard was 11. But then again, it was really, really faint. Right, I'm going to try and shine the light without blinding Ali, so you can see her. Drawn to the energy of the circle, using our collective energy to bring you into the circle. We don't mean you any harm, no disrespect. Oh, I've just suddenly started feeling quite quite short of breath, if that makes sense, my, my chest. Like I, like I really want to take a really big, deep breath. We ask you to come forward just to let us know that you're here, that you still enjoy this space, whether you came in celebration. <laughs> Thanks, <Ty. laughs> Thanks, Claire. Whether this ground is sacred to you, if you celebrated the land, the earth. Spirits, we mean you no harm. <coughs> we mean you no disrespect. We wish to communicate with you, if you're happy to do that. You're more than welcome to use all of our energy we have plenty of it, we might not at the bottom of the hill, but we have at the moment. Um, so please, please, come forward. Who's the idiot? That's, yeah, Claire, that's exactly what she says. She's just had to do a big sigh to bring her breathing back to normal. Now that's exactly, I just felt like my chest. I wanted to do that sort of, Please don't be fighting, spirit. If you want to come forward... Rob's not an idiot. Rob's not an idiot. If you have an ailment, you came here at the time of the twilight of your years, maybe you had a bad chest. Who's Bert? Maybe you came for a blessing here. You can't say Robert. I will, Peter. I, I'm not too bad at the moment. I will if I if I feel a bit. Yeah, if it makes me feel worse. I'll I'll move. I wonder if that's anything to do with the suicide in the tree. You're inquisitive. Because you would stop breathing. Yeah, you. Sorry, I, I just just don't. I've got this feeling that I want walk around everybody and go and have a look at this. Like that. But you can do it. Sorry, I'm, I'm interrupted. <laughs> no, it's all right. No, I just, I just had a feeling, then I just, I, I wanted to go to Brian and go. Who's the, who's the idiot? And inspect him. That's that, okay. That, You're that. allowed to inspect him. <laughs> come, come, in, come in, inspect him. I'm going to put. Actually, what I'm going to do, even better. It's a stick. Is let me put my light on. There we go. Then I can turn my torch Robert. off now. This is where I blind everyone. I think you can turn the intensity of your torch down on your um, when you slide it to do the Are you trying to say like the screen mm -hmm. resolution? I think you can take you. Um, Diane says yeah. her heart's beating really fast. 
And Peter says I might be picking up on a sacrifice. I think there's been many sacrifices. What yeah. your iron is? Not not yeah, always like living like sacrifices like or little animals like or. I would hate to think any human activity of sacrifice, but like that. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah, people right. also do bring not, sacrifices not of yeah. food. I'm I'm uh, right. a lot of Wiccan uh, yeah. Yeah. groups that, would come here. Yeah. They might tie ears of corn and things like that but, uh, what? Um, <laughs> to to give. Yeah. Back to nature. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's really weird because my screen's gone blurry. Well, that's you affecting Robert. Can that's you really again? weird. When when we came earlier, I could smell like apples, apples. roasting, could like as if again? they were on the fire, as if people were maybe going to eat roasted apples, but they could be a sacrifice. Now Claire's feeling the sudden fear of death. So that would tie in with the sacrifice or certain or whatever it is. Let me turn this way. So maybe so like keep a the little, eyes. Maybe like a little <laughs> animal or something. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, not not literally, but because I'm not sure whether <laughs> every viewer <laughs> agrees, but would it would be wrong of me to say if a human has a spirit like that an animal doesn't. And, and that doesn't sense. make me vegetarian well, or vegan, I and I wouldn't yeah. particularly share been, my personal opinion on that no, kind no. of thing. Yeah, um, however, no, if a, if an animal was um, sacrificed, you, you may be able to pick up well, on the fear of that. Yeah, she says she feels like she's facing death. Hi, Cheryl. Thanks for joining. Rob, don't worry, you can always watch it back, Rob. and we you know we value any comments. The, so don't worry. The other thing is. If you have people witnessing a death of an animal, um, they may be fearful of that if they've never seen an animal killed. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, so I'm not, I, I personally am not picking up something where, as a human, I'm afraid of my own life. But there definitely no, has not. been sacrifices that, here. No, he's there. He's um, far from Peter me. says definitely a human that's sacrifice good. somewhere. Over, like so that, I mean, that's a spot where obviously they have fires and things there. Um, whether, I mean, that's a, I mean, go, going back, I mean, if you think these have been here 4,000 years, what's happened? Yeah, it is, it is possible. Everything's no, possible. Not Absolutely. Weak. I do get a lot. I do get a lot of uh, spirits trying to. <laughs> Diane says she sees lots of orbs going past you. <laughs> She's not surprised at that one, Diane. She's uh, not. No comment. <laughs> oh yeah, she seems. Good. Yeah, I, I've got. I've got to say. I mean, <sighs> I my my breathing felt human. Just. Just the way my chest was yeah, my chest working felt. and aching. And it's actually and... hurt. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not <laughs> I'm gonna cork it or anything. But I have actually got pain sort of um middle, uh, middle of my chest. And is it still there now, Joe? You're the weak one for trying to pick up Only very slightly. Because maybe we could ask if there is a spirit that has recently affected Joe, and this is Joe. Someone affect me. I just heard somebody speak behind us. It's right there. Could could you maybe take a step away from Joe more towards the stone? And there's a little ball on there. Could you direct some of that energy into the ball rather than into Joe? Just like that little light, that little... Claire says her heart's fluttering now. Now, Sarah's had palpitations earlier, but that might have been walking up the hill. No, that was just over by the tree, I think. Is that over by the tree? Where that man, where I could see that man. Come on, spirits, I know you've got enough energy to light up one of these lights. Plenty of energy. Just once, any one of the... well... I've already seen one of the K2s go off, the little green lights. I saw that out of the corner of my eye, so... If there's... What, the one that's out again? Let me turn around to see my talk. It's all struggling to focus now because it's getting a bit dark. 
Can you set that light off that's opposite me now? Hi Kirsty, thanks for joining. Good luck with that. Unfortunately, we're only on for about another five minutes, but please do watch back and please, you know, if you see anything um, when you do, just, just, you know, pop it in the comments. Brilliant, and we'll uh, we'll pick up on it. Do you think you're speaking to somebody, then, Brian? We do read them back. Um, Keep working, yeah. Alison. Yeah, behind you. Come on, then. Come a bit closer. Brian is getting quite a lot of responses through the Come spirit. On. Brilliant. Okay. Oops. Next I've got I've got a, a gentleman that's trying to work me out. Oh. He knows how he's going to affect Rob. He said I'm the weak no, one. Okay, he's going off again. He's trying to work Brian out. Is that Kato okay going off again? Yeah. He's he's been around Come everybody. On. Yeah, you can uh, you go. can walk around me all night, mate. Uh, come on, yeah. come and talk to me through this box. Through this box on the ground, the green light. Come and work me out. Feel? Did that say feel then? Feel? Yeah. yeah. Push me. Yeah. Push me. Pull me. Do anything. You can't affect me. We're going to be joined by some people. people. Yeah, got yeah. some people coming out. Go. I'm not going anywhere. Come on, Spirit, set that little green light off again. It's all right, Rob's just collecting the. Uh... Look at what I've got. Are you? Come on then. It's still like directly in front of me. Make one of these boxes light up. Did he just say go? Make one of these boxes light up on the ground. No, I didn't catch, I didn't hear. Might hear it when we play it back. Well, that sounded like you just pulled your room. I'm going to come and stand closer to Brian so you can hear. And see, we've got necrophonic running. Come on then, make it. What's yours? This place is yours. I can't get them all in. <laughs> <laughs> this is your place, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Tell me your name then. I think you just said boss. Peter says there's many guardians of the stones from all areas. Guardians because it's always the guardians that come out and challenge Brian. Ah. Now I don't know whether you heard Ali then. Ali says that it's always the guardians that come out and challenge Brian when he's on investigations. So it's very very interesting that you actually used the turp Oh hello, look. It's, yeah, it's um it's the deer thing. There you go. The deer. That's just gone off. Go on. I've got that again for me, please. I've gone cold. Push it. I'll Push just, it towards I, me. I feel as though I want to go. Do <laughs> the whole lot. They, they, they won't hurt you. There's nothing here that will hurt you. Go on, Spirit. Can you Come just... Push that ball again for you me. Just tap that ball again. He's got beads around his neck as well. He's got beads, beads around his neck. Beads. He's got some beads around his neck, apparently. Like, ceremonial. If you can hear voices in the background, it's just some, some people. It's a deer that's on his head. It's not a stag, it's a female deer. Did that say cat ball? Yeah. Then? It, it did like say cat, cat ball. ball, didn't it? Now that wouldn't know that that was a cat ball because it's only copying what we've called it. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> that was impressive. <coughs> can you tell us our names? You know my name. Yeah, Spirit. Can you me, can you name can you name us? Tell me who I am. That said Robert again, didn't it? We know Robert. What's my name, Spirit? Tell me my name. <coughs> What's my name? 
Yeah, Claire, Claire says she heard Rob. I heard Dave Ghost. Ooh. Dave. Dave Ghost. Dave. Yeah. We're about to be yeah, invaded. invaded. <laughs> so, we'll see. Yeah, uh, see what's what. Hi, guys. <laughs> yeah, we are <laughs> trying to communicate with ET. <laughs> Come on, Spirit, what's my name? Do you know I love it? <laughs> Hi. Hi. Thanks, Diane. That was That's a great. girl. Did, have we got that proximity well, light from kill. over there? Come on, then. Oh. I apologise, the idiots are, um, they've got the music going. So if you can hear the music in the background, that's, yeah. They're making themselves now. Which shoulder, your left or your right? <coughs> Come on, Spirit, kick that ball okay. again for me. Move that ball. Make one of the lights flash on these boxes. Use our energy. Plenty of it. I'm not scared of you. I'm not weak. Spirit, we invite you to use our energy to help communicate to Brian. Gentlemen, you've been talking to. Was that what did you hear that, Claire? Wait. Come on, use my energy. Make the yeah, ball light. She heard what she heard weight. Yeah. Been That's great, thank you. <laughs> Do something now for me. Come on, spirit. Or spirits. The big bad man. Kirsty says she heard, help me. Yeah, Sarah says, yeah, she heard that. She said, a little girl saying, help me. Is that how you get off? Picking on the weed? Little girls, little boys, and me, yeah, and Rob. <laughs> not, so, not so little boys, obviously, but uh, people that you think you know you're better than them. They're weaker. Laugh louder. I can't hear you. <laughs> I want. To. <coughs> I want to say you think you're something I don't think I'm anything you th you, you're the big man I feel as though I've just been told to shut up <laughs> yeah I'm telling you to shut up if you're, the, if you're the big man why don't you use a gust of your energy and light up everything or you can see or everything there. in front of me Everything in front of me. Come on. She's saying, Diane heard, don't leave me. Make something light up. You're it certainly man. would, Graham. It certainly would. We have, I don't think we've got it with us. I don't think. He says, put the Lord's Prayer on backwards. That'll soon uh, 
get the spirits active. <coughs> You're not allowed to play the Lord's Prayer as it is now, are you? Um, but you can't, I think you can do a mixture of it, let's put it that way. Did you just hear that? <coughs> it was almost as if it was trying to play us a record. You know, we went somewhere, it was Christmas time, and we asked if there was a true spirit there, could it, I, we'd got a walkie-talkie as well, yeah. could it sing us carols? And it gave us three verses of Good King Wenceslas over a walkie-talkie. Wow. So, Come on, then. If, if it can give us... Some we were just talking about the Lord's Prayer. Could it give us a religious song that connects it to being a guardian? Absolutely, yeah. Did you hear that? What, what? No. It said go to sleep. <laughs> no, I'm not going to sleep. I can't read that out, Graham. I'm a bit of a wimp where that's concerned. Prayer. Claire had heard prayer. He's not religious. <laughs> There are links to um why are you there are here? the links to the devil. Spirit, why are you here? Yeah, why are you here? Ouch. Ouch did that sound? There's somebody standing yard now. Spirit, Spirit can you say Come something that connects to you to being a guardian? Oh yeah. Your legs are warm. I was shivering there. My legs are warm. Dave. Up to the knee. There's our Dave as well. Dave. Dave's come through, yeah. Who's Dave? Spirit, I'd like to challenge you that you are not from here. You're not from here. You've seen that we've thrown a light out to encourage spirits forward. And you're just using this as an opportunity to come to Brian. Bring it. You're not from here. I know where you're from. You know where you're from. Is it from Bobo? No. <laughs> give me the give me the name of either the river or the location. You're not killing him. You're not killing him. Don't be ridiculous. You can try. Daddy. Mm, no, Daddy then. Yeah. yeah. Are they from? Yeah. Yeah. He's seen. He's seen the opportunity to come through, Brian. Okay. Well, come on, yeah. please come and talk to me. I know where you're from now. We've had this a few times. Okay. There's six of you, isn't there? Yeah, Clara, Daddy. Yeah, that was as clear as day. That one. <clears throat> Step back a little bit from the things, just a tiny bit, just to see if we can get him. So, so, so yeah, we know. Yeah, close to her, Daddy, as well. Yeah. <coughs> we know who you are. Thank you for coming. Yeah, very much appreciated. It is a bit of a trek. However, we know you are or were once religious. But you're a bad man, aren't you? No. Yes. No. Your fingertips. Yeah, you and your five brothers. That's where. That's where. I'm just moving a bit closer so you can hear it. Call yourself a guardian. We think you're low life. Peter's getting a picture. We know you. Yeah, we know you're a low life. Of a very cold winter scene, howling oh. winds and gale, full snow, for some reason. Would that tie in with? It would tie in from the <coughs> first time we saw this. <coughs> Brilliant. So the that, time that, that the time that we went. The person yeah. that Ali and Brian assure has is coming through. Yeah. Um, it, be... it ties in. That that scene that you're with, you're with getting, weather, Peter, the, the weather, with, with the uh, it, conditions, yeah, it, it ties in with the first time that they encountered um, this per, this said person. <laughs> yes. So yeah, thank okay. you for that. Yeah. That's well done. So, yeah. 
spirit. Come on then. You've come, you've travelled here, you've seen the opening of the veil to allow you through. Why have you come if you're going to do nothing but torment? Let's have something real, let's have something tangible. I want one of those lights lighting or I'm sending you away. I will wrap you up. Now that's brilliant, Peter, thanks. And I will send you away. We know where you've come from and we can send you straight back. <clears throat> it, it does do that. <laughs> come on then, come on. I think, I think whoever it is, I'd, I'd, I'd agree with the six, I'd agree with the five followers, I think it's almost, it, it, he's created his own sort of following. He has. It's nothing, it's nothing down in textbooks, it's nothing it's purely, it's purely a following, his, his following, and he's got five. <coughs> Almost <Jesus>. like disciples. <coughs> like we said earlier, Rob, he's like the chief, he's saying it's his. but it's no, yours. it's not yours. <laughs> not yours. Can I ask you, Spirit, do you think Brian is yours? <laughs> Do you think Brian is one of your brothers? Just because I've got a bald head? No. <laughs> Stop. No. Spirit. Do you think Brian is one of your brothers? I think you just men. swore at me. I was looking for men. Claire heard all. Yeah. And your and um, Diane's getting George, her okay. George. Okay. Don't know so whether that's. It can be significant. Yeah. So that can be significant spirit, as well, Diane. Yeah, well done. If if you're saying George, and you already know Brian's first name. What? Is that why? I thought it said what. Why what? or what? Yeah. What? Can you what? give Brian's surname? Oh, all of a sudden, very quiet. Hmm. So you think you know me, but you don't know me. Yeah, Claire heard what? Yeah. There's a tower over there. <coughs> there is a tower. I am not one of your filthy brothers. It's sort of over there. No, it's square tower. Yeah. Between the two. Like, um, like a watchtower tower. I'm going to give it a couple, of, couple more minutes because my battery on my phone is... Um, about ready to die. And also this spirit wants attention but doesn't want to Yeah. Give anything to mm -hmm. acknowledge in another tangible way. So I'll just give it uh, give it a couple more minutes. Um right there, Rob. my battery's going down on my phone really fast now. I want to say to Alison, and what book of spells have you been reading? <laughs> that's, that's what I want to say. It's like a mock of idiot. Yeah. <clears throat> Is that the sort of thing you'd expect? I'd expect a lot of obscenities. He so, yeah, that mistreated. Was, that was Every individual he came across to his own ends, vile individuals. I don't want to give too much away because over the course of time, this spirit will come through on and off. Okay. Because he's latched himself to Brian. Yeah. Because he, he tried me. to absorb Brian a little bit on a, a couple of times, um, but Brian's spirit is very strong. And Ryan worked this individual out very quickly. Um, Ryan has a photograph of this individual, but not in his living form. Okay. Jane is saying, is Charlotte, Charlie still close by? 
No. She's, no. She's, it's, it's almost as if around about 10 o'clock the energy completely changed. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it was about, said, Bob, though, I say it? about yeah. 10, it was probably about half past, I've not really looked at my watch. Yeah, it was about, about half an hour ago, was not it? Yeah. yeah. No, sadly not, Jane. Um, right, I'm going to, because my, my phone's down on to about 18% now, so um, we're going to call it a good night. Um, just, just before um, sorry. let everybody go. Oh, yeah, don't um, go yet. <laughs> just, just to ensure that people know that when we close yeah. down this site, We'll say our own prayer to protect us all from any energies that reside here. Absolutely. We'll also send <coughs> Ryan's friend back to where he came from. Oh no! And um, <laughs> anybody watching, thank you very much. If if you do have uh, any concerns or comments, um, if you message the group page, I'm always happy to talk you through any of our opening or closing sessions, and. Later on in the month, we might also do some kinds of tarot card readings or some angel card readings for people that join us on live. There's a little thank you and payback, but we'll have more details on that later. Absolutely. Yeah, that's something we're looking at, definitely. Thank you. So thanks, only. everybody. Really, really <laughs> enjoyed that one. Um, thanks, everybody, for your interaction. Night, Graham. Night, Claire. Night, yeah, Jane. Guys. Night, Peter. So a good night from Brian. Good night. A good night from Sarah. Good night. A good, good night. night from Rob. Good night. A good night from Ali. I'm going to try not to blind her. And a good night from me behind the thingy. <laughs> right. We'll see you. Uh, we won't be out tomorrow night. Poor Rob. Oh, look at him. He's got his COVID jab tomorrow. So, um, and we've got a bit of a team meeting to discuss a few things. So, um, let me just turn the, put my torch on. And then I can turn it round onto me. You get to see my lovely mug shot again. <coughs> there we go. And so, um, yeah, we'll... Um, night, Jane. Uh, night, Claire. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll... Uh, we won't be out tomorrow night, so it'll be next weekend now. Uh, we'll keep you keep you posted. Um, we're going to find a, another nice location. And um, keep watching the page. And thank you very much, everybody. We'll bid you good night. See you soon. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.